gamers y games. E aí galera, aqui quem fala é o Jefferson e hoje eu trago para vocês Zig Cosmic Adventures. Vamos lá, esse é um jogo feito para realidade virtual. Eu estou aqui no PC, né, através do MetaQuest Airlink. Bora ver do que se trata. Vamos lá, em pé. New game, new file. Acabei de abrir o jogo aqui, vamos ver as configurações. Very much. Hum. Tá na Log 6, né? Pra você ali. Tá, aqui, snap, smooth, tá. Burning speed. Pra evitar o motocine, a gente sempre coloca. Ship Center. Olha aqui, Ship Center, melhor. Tá. Force Grab. Grab Indicator Show, tá. Speed. Pronto, belezinha. Acessibilidade, vamos lá. Visuais. Tá, tem um Easy Mode ali. Deixa eu aplicar isso aqui. Bora lá. Tem o Aventura e Arcade. Vamos no Aventura aqui pra ver. Treinamento. Play. Uou. Welcome, pilot. Are you ready to experience the thrill of space flight and an incredible journey through the cosmos? Hmm. We will go on the It will be incredible. But wait, why is it so dark in here? No, no, that won't do. Can't fly a ship in the dark. Can't adventure if you can't see where you're going. Okay. You could, could you please pick up that battery on the counter? Tá, eu não tô vendo nada aqui, tá muito escuro. Ele falou pra me pegar a bateria. Aqui a bateria. Onde tá? Tá, tá muito escuro, eu não tô vendo nada. Ah, será que é aqui? Meu Deus! Light system, turf storage, chamber empty. The light system is to the right of the dashboard. Tá. Pra direita. Não, é um chute, temperatura. Tá. Já vi que esse jogo aqui vai requerer bastante espaço. O que, que é isso aqui? Turf storage. Hum, tem uma arma ali. Tá. Tá, eu vou falar aí, brother, onde é? Tá, aqui? Não, não é. Temperatura, controle de temperatura. Acho que já era. Please put the battery into the light system. A nave interativa. Vamos recomeçar. Tô sem espaço aqui para jogar. Welcome pilot. Are you ready to fica melhor. The thrill of space flight and an incredible journey. Escapar isso ali na frente. We will go on so many together. It will be incredible. But wait, why is it so dark in here? No, no, that won't do. Can't fly a ship in the dark. Can't adventure if you can't see where you're going. If you Ai, aqui, could you please pick up that battery on the counter? Oh, coloquei lá. Eu acho que tinha colocado lá do. Tá lá. 
Bom, eles poderiam ter colocado algum tipo de movimentação aqui, né, cara? Eu sei que é pequenininho, mas fica estranho. Ou algum botão para recentralizar, será que tem? Recarry Verde Position. Ah, tem. Eu tenho que apertar o... Coisa aqui. Beleza. Fica bem melhor assim. Ele recalibra para onde eu tô olhando. Certo. Tá, robô. E agora? Insert the battery into the light system, please. Tá lá. Tá, eu coloquei, e agora? Ou não é aqui, né? Ah, tem um switch aqui. The ship headlights are now on. Caramba, cara, os trem é muito pequenininho, ó. Eu vi de relance. Tá bom. E agora, robô? Tá lá, ué. Meu Deus. Tem grave de greve? Não tem grave de greve. Ah, se não for aqui. Tem lugar pra colocar aqui a bateria. Ah, é aqui. <risos> ah, a bateria vai em lugar diferente, beleza. Hum. Não tem ideia. Bom, tem um ventilador na minha frente aqui, vou tentar tampar pra pegar esse bichinho. Aí. Fica aqui. Qual que é o código? Tá, não tem ideia de qual que seja o código. Use your fingers and touch the floating screen to enter your unique identifier numbers. Hmm. Error. Code not recognized. Tá. You wouldn't be stealing me, would you? Não sei. Oh, dear. oh no, I'm being stolen. Reporting to the authorities. Uploading theft report, progress at 10%, 30%, 80%, error, 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 external communication. Opa, perdeu o dado. Too many issues detected with ship systems. Routing internal defenses, error, error. Operating subroutines offline, attempting to repair the problem. Error, a system error has occurred. Do you want to reinstall the AI operating system? Sim. Reinstalling AI system. Initializing new user startup sequence. Welcome. I am Pao, your personal artificial life form. It is my pleasure to meet you. One moment while I bind your user ID to my systems. Installing custom personality subroutines. Ok. Cara, legal que é interativo pra caramba. Só que... You are now my designated captain. And who is this little green guy? Is he your companion? Não tem ideia, brother. Deve ser o Zig, né? What's its name? I can't find anything in my memory banks about such a creature. Oh well, no worries. I'll name Opa, it 5ABA07 for now. Hello, little 5ABA07. Now that we've got our introductions out of the way, I will be assisting hmm. you with getting to know your new ship. Certo. Please take a moment to review all systems as stated in the terms and conditions of your purchase. Preset environmental parameters for your species were loaded upon your entry, as well as language and personality subroutines. Now, if you look around, <laughs> you will see state-of-the-art installations. These are all brand new systems that... Wait, why is everything throwing up errors? 
These are all brand new systems that... Wait, I'm reading multiple critical errors. Mm -hmm. Almost all of the ship's systems currently out of commission. How could this have happened? It looks like the last pilot must have taken quite a bit of damage. I'm sorry you have to see the ship in this state, Captain. Really, I'm quite embarrassed. I would have cleaned up if I knew you were coming. Tá, ele tá falando aqui que o último capitão, né, destruiu a nave. If you look around, you should be able to find the repair hammer. It's a repair hammer. Tá. Looks like a hammer. You know what a hammer looks like, right? Check the drawers. Tô batendo as coisas aqui já até a cadeira aqui na frente. Think the more it is repaired. Don't ask how it works. The physics behind percussive maintenance is exceedingly complicated. Give it a go and repair the damaged components throughout the ship. Hum. Hum, é na porrada mesmo. <risos> que mais? See smoke? That's probably broken. Great, that solves the mechanical issues. If something else breaks in the future, remember to use the hammer. But it's pretty smoky in here. Seems those components gave off quite a bit of toxic gas. You should prevent that gas. I assume it's not good for your species. There is a switch near the back right of the cockpit that turns on the fans. Hmm. Need to flip to clear out the fans. Cadê? Tropeçou Será que é esse aqui? Fantastic. Ah. That settles the repairs. Now. Ah, o ventiladorzinho está aqui, ó. Power up the ship. Certo. Currently going nowhere on empty. This ship is outfitted with a cutting-edge, next-generation prototype matter generator and extractor system. Okay. Top scientists working on cracking the code to unlimited energy. And this is their prototype system. Anything from a plant to a complex processed creation like a burger, fries and shakes. The extractor on the other side is able to... Cara, os gráficos estão legais, viu? Olha lá, os detalhes. ...into a pure fuel source. Let's create something with the generator. There should be a green standard issue data cartridge that comes all ships of this class. Hum, tá. Quer criar alguma coisa com gerador. Aqui o cartucho. That's the green data cartridge used uhum. for fueling the ship. However, it looks a bit strange. That cartridge is not standard issue. That one okay. looks like a master data cartridge. Mm. Something is written on the data cartridge you used. It says Ziggy. That shouldn't be in é, here. Tem um problema. It belongs in the research vault. Without it, the research team will be unable to continue their work. I wonder how it got Eu não consigo here. virar. Well, I'm sure you can return it later. <laughs> Let's try out that cartridge. Put it into the matter generator. Okay. Cadê? Ziggy. Um gerador de matéria. Proof storage, chamber empty, energy extractor. Cara, cadê o gerador? Look, I think printer. We need to find the green data cartridge. Sim, tá aqui comigo. Agora eu quero saber aonde eu tenho que colocar ele. Ah, meu Deus. Great. Now press the button at the bottom of the matter generator to Ixi. start the creation process. I hope you are making something useful. Vai fazer outro? Wow, we've got another of those creatures. Hello, little one. I guess its name isn't 5AB07 after all. Those creatures must be named Ziggy. That's what was written on that cartridge. Hmm, I have an idea. <laughs> The extractor system works by taking organic matter and <gasps> using it in the fuel. Ziggy. Now that we have multiple of these Ziggy creatures, we can probably close the extractor door. Next, we need to add an empty fuel canister no! into the transfer dock. There is an empty battery cell in the engine power unit. Let's take one from there. If you press the red button on the battery, it will pop out. Great. Now place the battery in the transfer dock area and watch the miracle of science taking place. Hooray! We've got a full battery and Ziggy is still alive. Looks like he is a very dense fuel source. Let's put that battery into one of the engine slots. Great. That has added some fuel to the ship and mm. should give us enough power to get out of here. Okay. However, that's not all we need to do. In order to survive out in space, we need to make sure that the life support system is working. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, oxygen won't be created. I believe your species relies heavily on oxygen. Sim. So I suggest we fix this before we set out. 
The life support system is out of power right now. We could extract the Ziggy again. But if you want to extract that Ziggy again into another battery, I am fearful that it may lead to its demise. Life forms can only expend so much energy before they are depleted. If you were to feed Ziggy something, however, that would give Ziggy more mm -hmm. energy and therefore allow another extraction. However, if então, you don't um jogo care, de you could also just put another battery from the life support unit into the dock and get more energy from Ziggy. It's up to you. It may kill Ziggy though. There should be a standard issue food cartridge. It's yellow. Can you locate it? Great. That is a food cartridge. A staple of any. Now press the start button to create some food. Okay. That looks tasty. I'm sure Ziggy would love that. Hold that food in front of the tired Ziggy. If Ziggy needs energy, it will surely eat that right up. <laughs> Ficou verdinho de novo. Looks like that did the trick. Ziggy looks happy and full again. Now we can extract Ziggy once more. We will need another battery. There is one in the life support system. Please take it out of there and insert it into the charging dock. Life support, life support. Cadê, cadê, cadê? Tá. No. Vamos lá. Aqui em cima. É. Take the empty battery. We have another full battery. Place it into the life support system. Since the life support system was without power for too long, the system will need to be rebooted. Follow the on-screen sequence to reset the life support system. Ziggy's back to full energy. Oh, Zeke tá doidão. <risos> tá. Tem que fazer a sequência. Qual que é o código? Ué. Ah, tá ali escrito. É o 7. Esse. Fantastic. That's that. The system is powered up and rebooted. Now you're great. Now twist the cylinder unit and line up the arrow on the screen to the marker. The marker position changes each time the ship's pressure pops, so you need to find the optimal position to reset the unit. Once you find the marker, hold the line there for a moment. Now that you've found the marker, push the cylinder unit into the wall. Now we're on the second stage. Repeat the same process again. Find the next marker. That's it. The pressure is reset. Okay. Moving on, there are several sliders above the pressure system. These are mm -hmm. all out of balance. These sliders help the life support system be more efficient. So, if you want to maximize the battery use in your life support, keeping them well balanced will also help slow the energy use of the life support battery. Beleza. These may get jostled around from time to time and may need recalibrating. So, keep an eye on them. It Caramba, cara é muita coisa. These balanced, especially if pressed for time. But it will make your journey easier. Next, up, there is a thermal regulator unit on under the extractor. Okay. We are almost done. In order to fly out of here, we need the stabilizer to keep our trajectory steady. Without it, okay. it will be impossible to control. This system also maintains the artificial gravity, although you can disable it manually if you so desire. The stabilizer unit is located at the back of the cockpit, below the eject door. Once you locate the stabilizer, grab the dials on each side of the stabilizer. Oh. Now that you've grabbed the dials, turn them until the waves are in sync. Once they are in sync, the dials will lock into place. Okay. So push the unit back to re-engage the stabilizers. Fantastic work. We're now more stable than a barn. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like someone is calling us. I'll patch them through. Mother. Attention, bounty hunter. Return the stolen goods immediately. Bounty hunter? Stolen goods? What are you talking about? The 
Ah. Ziggy foi roubado. Oh, if you are a bounty hunter and you are my captain and this is your ship, that means I am an accomplice, guilty by association. Sim. Oh no, oh no, oh no, what should we do? <risos> the most sensible course of action is to surrender to the authorities. Escudos ligados. Oh, reset. Oh, reset. That doesn't sound like much fun. I can't imagine you're looking forward to your inevitable execution either. Might I suggest a plan B? Mm -hmm. a daring escape. It's our only hope. But wait, we can't. There is a force field blocking the hangar exit. With those shields up, we aren't going anywhere. How can we disable this force field? Tem que atirar ali, tá? It seems that there are four switches around the perimeter of the force field. Triggering those would probably lower the force field. But with our current firepower, there may not be enough to trigger those switches. In order to use the gun overdrive system, we need to put a battery into the slot. We can take the battery from the shield system and repurpose that one. Hmm. You need shields when you've got firepower anyway. Now insert that battery into the gun overdrive system. Tá, ele quer que tire do escudo e põe no da arma. Mas eu não sei onde tá no da arma. Fantastic! I can feel the power. Now shoot those targets. Oh, how do you do that? You ask. It's simple. Grab the flight controller. It's floating in front of the dash. Now shoot those targets. To fire your guns, make a fist with your hand to squeeze the trigger. Yes, you did it. The force field is down. Let's go. Here we go. Whoa. Ah, vamos nós. Não tem auto grab, tem que ficar segurando. We left them in the dust there, that's for sure. Uhul. I knew they wouldn't really be able to stop us. I mean, it's a research station. Seems the Empire isn't as competent as they said. I'm not exactly shaking in my proverbial boots. Oh, quem tá tirando a gente? Station is right past their blockade. If we can use it to warp to the Ataraxia station, we can use it to jump to the next galaxy. Tá. Mas aonde eu tenho que ir? Eu não ouvi. That was terribly polite, but I'm afraid we'll have to decline. You might be able to find some replicas floating out there in space, though. Mm -hmm. I think that's our cue to leave. Look at our fuck quick. Let's go while they're busy with whatever that was. Caramba, onde a gente tem que ir? Cara, não tem nenhum navegador. Ah, legal. Aonde veio essa parada? Meu Deus! Tá! Eu peguei o negócio, mas eu não, tenho, não faço ideia de onde veio.
Cara, pra onde eu tenho que ir? Pro outro ali, será? Tem essas anacondas aqui, ó, essas naves do Elite Dangerous passando por aqui. E o item meio box, tá? Mas onde fica? Poxa. É, eu peguei uma bateria completa lá, mas aonde, pra onde ela vem? É aqui? Ah! Pega! Não! I am the Imperatorial Director General, Commander of the Ai, meu Deus. Não dá pra pegar, não. Tá na parede. Eu estou aqui para aceitar sua surrender com a minha squad. Surrender? Isso não soa divertido. Você não pode correr para sempre. O Empire é tudo. Caramba, bicho. Nós vamos sempre nos encontrar no final. Eu estou aqui para te levar e recuperar o Ziggy. Antes que a Empress se encontrou. We are giving you one last chance to hand it over. And if we don't feel like complying with that request, what happens then? You don't want to upset the Empress. She will stop at nothing to achieve her goals, and neither will I. Ah, they posturing and non specific I see. Terrifying. Terrifying. I have pledged my loyalty to her and the Empire. Ah, this guy is At her command, I will return Ziggy where it belongs. Nothing will stand in the way of the Empire. With our gloried Empress at its helm, we are unstoppable. What do you want Ziggy for? For galactic conquest, obviously. And one little Ziggy will be enough? A grand empire requires a grand amount of resources to maintain. Cara, os armas já gastam muita energia, você tá louco. Everyone is all like, oh, we live here, don't destroy our home. But they cannot stand in the way of progress. You don't even know what you have in your hands. Enough talk. Said too much. Cadê o outro Zig? I have a new super weapon I have been dying to try out. And it looks like I have just found the perfect test subjects. Prepare to die. Pô, eu tirei daqui. Oh, flap wobble. That was not supposed to happen. The weapon should have targeted you, not the planet. They are going to get it when I return. This is going to cost us a fortune. I am never going to hear the end of this. Oh, He is obsessed with the budget. Of course, it wouldn't oh. have happened if it had been built properly in the first place. But no, let's cheap out and cut corners on the massive super weapon that could destroy us all. Your directorness, receiving long-range communications from the Empress. Ah. Your Majesty, I wasn't expecting your call. Rebellion. É pra você comer o trem, bichinho. Crazy how wars start, eh? Crazy how people don't like getting blown up. Sure. Shut up. No, not you, Your Exalted Majesty. I don't know. I I couldn't possibly. Such a complicated geopolitical climate. Who really can venture any? Yes, of, of course. Cara. Your wondrousness. Hey. Oh, looks like someone's in trouble. Yes, your gloriousness right away. And you. I'll be back. And next time. Prepare for fight. <laughs> You won't escape us. We have state-of-the-art tracking capabilities, as cutting edge as you can get. Yeah, the watch. You've been warned, scumbag. O outro zig eu não sei onde foi parar. Like Weiss on a Camertine Wesselton. I'm not bushel of lies, metaphorical or otherwise. Oh, Ziggy. No matter where you run, we will find you. 
Great. Now that he's started a war, I guess we'll have to break through their blockade in order to escape. Certo. Tá carregado, brother. O outro zig tá no chão de novo. Fica aqui, bichinho. Tá, tô começando a pegar o jeito aqui. Pra onde a gente vai? Será que é ali no meio? Acho que a gente saiu ali do meio, né? Cara, gasta muita energia, você tá louco! E eu não tenho noção de onde a gente tem que ir, acho que a gente saiu daqui, não foi? Vai bater. Porque não tem um HUDzinho, um minimapa, indicando. Geralmente tem um radar, né? Alguma coisa. Agora ele parou de falar. Ó. Oh. E eu não faço ideia de onde a gente tem que ir. Tô indo pro lado errado, será? Meu Deus! O Z já sumiu. Life support é aqui. O life support system has lost power. Without power, you will run out of oxygen. The ship shields are going to give out. Look at our firepower. The ship shields don't have any energy. Eu não faço ideia de onde tem que ir. Tá, e onde a gente vai, cara? Aqui só tem essas setinhas falando, vai pra lá. Fala que eu tenho que furar o bloqueio dele, mas não fala onde. Eu não sei nem se eu tô indo pro lugar correto. E que isso aqui? Vou fazer a comida pra ele dar pra ele comer. <risos> é mais fácil. É, ele não deixa eu sair, ele tá falando pra mim sempre pra frente. Vamos ver se agora vai. Escuro tem, aqui tem. 
Ali tá beleza. Cara, come muita energia. Não dá. Outro Zig, eu não sei nem onde vai parar. Without a battery, our shields won't turn on. I hope this doesn't hurt the little one too much. I can't wait to see what you are making. Breathing is about to get difficult if our whole system cuts out. Cut. You might want to address the life support system immediately. Can they come in? Engine system offline. Mmm, tasty. We need more power in the life support system. Sorry, Diggy. Great, the life support system has some power. Ah, uh, esse, esse. Tá errado. Our engine system has failed. All power is depleted. The Empire doesn't stand a chance against our firepower. I hope you are making something useful. Dinner's served. Ziggy looks like he's full of energy. Tá, ele tá falando que alguma coisa estragou. Agora o quê? Engine. Tá. Ah não, ficou sem energia. Sorry, buddy. We need your energy. Mother, you must be hungry. Om nom nom. Ah. Greetings, Cosmic Express. We'd like to catch the war gate to Ataraxia. Opa. <laughs> I'm sorry? Didn't catch that. Can you repeat? <laughs> ah, I think he's speaking Galactarianese. Let me turn on my translation processor. <laughs> For kicking those best yes dirts coasses and sending them packing. <risos> Cara, a ideia é legal, mas esse dia desse momento que eu vou te falar. I've been rambling again. As coisas acabam de. A gente acaba rápido demais. We're trying to get to Ataraxia as soon as we can. Oh, I'm very sorry, my friends, but I can't send you that far. That's a bit far out of the range of this station. Curses. We'll take anything in that direction as long as we can get away from here. Oh, unfortunately, oh, coisa que tá quebrada. Notification from the Empire's communications battle cruiser that all traffic to the Rumoraka sector is barred. Oh, if only you had been here a bit sooner, you would have made the cutoff. Well, how about? Oh, I could send you to the Gamby Belt. Ziggy's back to full energy. That's as good as any destination, I suppose. I'll get you on your way. Vambora. Okay, I just gotta calculate your trajectory here. One moment. Get ready to warp. Starting the warp sequence in three, two, one. Hold on tight. <laughs> <laughs> Have I ever told you how much 
I love asteroids. We can take it carefully and navigate the asteroids, but that is going to slow us down considerably. There's a reason no one comes here. Even the miners who work these asteroids hate it. Of course, no one coming here makes it a veritable hotspot for crime. Although hotspot implies activity, and this is more barren wasteland on the desolate edge of civilization. Let's just get through the next warp gate as quickly as possible, eh? I, for one, am eager to put plenty of space between us and our pursuers. Tá, eu sei. Galera, esse aqui é um vídeo só de primeiras impressões. O jogo parece ser interessante, mas esse gerenciamento aqui é muito complicado, é muito cansativo. Pô, não dá pra você fazer quase nada. Vamos ver só o que, que vai acontecer aqui. Qual que é o próximo evento? Vou passar nesse laser aqui pra ver o que acontece. Nada. Bom, e é isso aí, galera. Esse aqui é só um vídeo de primeiras impressões de Zig Cosmic Adventures. E se você quiser saber se o jogo é bom ou não, entra aqui, ó, no link aqui na descrição. Vai levar lá pro nosso site gamersgames.com.br, certinho? Até a próxima.